Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ben from Parker Bakes. Now I've got something very special for you this evening. So it's not me on this video, but it is Garrod, one of the Parker Bakes ambassadors, and he heads to Auburn's Lake. This is an absolute banging video that you're about to see. And from what I've seen on YouTube, I haven't seen anybody sort of do a vlog on a BCAC or any kind of match scenario, if I'm honest. Now Garrod's done it, and it's come across very, very well. He's also fishing with Charlotte Dovey as well. Um, it's a it's mixed pairs this particular match and there were 16 people. It's a 48 hour match as well. And trust me, it's, it's, it really does get hairy in this video. Um, I remember uh, Gary calling me and it was, um, oh, I'm in this, again, I don't wanna to give too much away, but it was like, I'm in this position now, now I'm in this position. <laughs> it was um, hairy to say the least. Now, I'm gonna let this video unfold, but just before I start this video, guys, give us a thumbs up, make sure you comment down below, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward, and hopefully Garrod can bring you an absolute banger. So join me this week um, at Willows Lake in St. Albans. Uh, quite a special weekend, actually. It's the final of the, BCAC mixed pairs. Uh, I'm competing with my fishing partner Charlotte Dovey. Uh, really looking forward to it. Um, stunning lake, 22 acres in size. Um, I think it's around about 7,000 carp. Uh, so, you know, big head of carp. Weather's looking good, there could be some big hauls. But it doesn't matter about the big haul. What matters is the five biggest fish. So I'm gonna try and take you on my journey. Um, and uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Seven forty one, just signed in. We've got nine o'clock, we got the draw. Had a good walk around the lake. The fish are definitely holding up on the on, on the west side of the lake. The, the, the fish are, are, are really showing. So there's 16 swims in 22 acres. There's gonna be fish everywhere, um, but the, the, the majority are holding up in the middle, really between swim five to seven, and then across, I think it comes down to nine and 10. Anyone who gets swim, I think four, looks really good, and also swim three, so, Whoever gets this bowl um, at the very north end, you pretty much got the whole of the water. It's looking good, looking really nice. So there's some beautiful wildlife here. They've got cockles and chickens, and uh, there's some swans that are nesting, also some geese. Even though one of the geese keeps trying to chase me every time I've walked past it, but I don't blame it. So uh, I'm gonna take you again on this journey. I'll try and get some footage of the draw, but if not, then you'll probably see me next time uh, as we get into setting up. So the, we've got from nine to nine till 10 is gonna be getting to your swims. 10 to 11 is, is baiting up, and then 12 o'clock is gonna be uh, the first horn, and then it's 48 hours until 12 o'clock Sunday. So fingers crossed. Um, Got quite a few of the guys stayed over last night. Uh, they've been camped up. Uh, I say I had a good walk around. I've walked around twice now. There's a lot of fish showing. It's going to be tough again. I think this will be one in ounces because uh, again, it's not the most fish. It's the five biggest. Uh, they go. They average mid double up to about 30. So uh, I do think this is going to be really, really tight. So it doesn't matter whether you're on the fish, what it's gonna matter is whether you can get in the big fish or the bigger fish. So um, again, we'll take you throughout the next 48 hours. I'll keep, try and keep you updated as we go along, what tactics, what bait, how I've approached it, and myself and Charlotte, uh, get some footage hopefully of landing lots of fish. Um, and uh, well, luck of the draw really. So.
So jaw's been done, um, got jaw on third from last, but got picked or I drew peg 11, which is just to the left of the out of bounds. It was my number two choice of swim. So luck's been on my side. Had a good walk around this morning. Fish are definitely out in front. Uh, another bit of news is that one of the pairs hasn't turned up which means we get the whole of that water which is amazing so i've got to pack up we'll pack up got to set up yet yeah. looking really good totally away from everybody else the key for this is going to be right there where that out of bounds is i've got halfway across that which i'll be allowed um, but the majority is going to be out in that middle section so we got 15 minutes to go uh, before we can start markering up um, and uh, putting some bait out. Really happy with the swim, to be fair. Um, you know, it's 22 acres, 16 swims, got drawn, um, second, third from last, and drew the peg I wanted. Um, there's actually a peg opposite uh, where somebody didn't turn, so there's 15 pairs, but we have actually now got that water. So in, in reality, we've probably got about four or five acres uh, to play with plus to my right uh, we've got an out of bounds um, where a lot of the fish hold up if any of you go to b2 then you'll know about the horseshoe where they're sitting well it's the same here as well but we can get alongside it so you know it's um everything's in our favor down the far end wayne mansfield uh, he got drawn peg 13 um, you've got down there as well, uh, Jack Lamb, um, also Paul and Nicky Gordon, I believe they're down there. So, you know, um, it's all sectioned as well, so section winners and overall winner. Um, so uh, I'm waiting for Charlotte, she should be here about midday, so about an hour and quarter. So I'm trying to do a little bit of filming just in the background, I won't be talking, just doing some markering, find that way. I'm really hot here so you have to excuse the uh, the damp patch or, or camo look I'd like to say but yeah we're there it's been a long wait can't wait and um, again this is going to be super close you now this isn't about how many but it is about the biggest and I, I believe this will be we'd be running ounces We are, we are. How many so what's everyone, yeah? 25 journey. It's the only five fish we've got to worry about. So that's yeah. it, yeah. So we've had a good start, um, about three hours in. We just had one, uh, I think it was 16 pound. Yeah. 16 pound mirror. Um, I think you should see the shots of that. Uh, and also a, a, a beloved bream. Uh, I've got the rods back out in the spot. So again, 18 and a half wraps directly out in front of me. I went over to the left. Now, as I said at the start, uh, I've got my fishing partner, Charlotte Dovey, who I'm going to like to introduce. So, hello. Hello, Charlotte. So I'm going, to, I'm going to come over to you. So Charlotte, how are you feeling about today? Better now we've caught one. Better than Definitely. we've caught one. So for those that don't know, I actually asked Charlotte a week? Yeah, a week and a half ago. A week and a half ago uh, to come and join me on this. Charlotte, his um, name on Instagram is... Girls can fish too, underscore. Yep, so obviously we've got Bank Life lads, Bank Life ladies. There's Parker Baits with uh, ladies that are coming through it. And Charlotte's coming in here and obviously at the, the final of the British Champs. So um, you'll see a lot more of her as we go through. And hopefully get some footage of her landing one as well. Fingers crossed. Yeah. So we're in the uh, night time. Night time, it's about half eight. Only had the one carp. Unfortunately, I think it's five bream. Um, obviously, not your favourite in a in a carp competition. But we're, I think, uh, the overall leader who's who's got five. There's a few people around the lake who's had five. The maximum weight is only actually 90 pound. So it's not a lot to catch up. Uh, you know, we've had. I think we've had the second biggest fish being 16 pound. We're second place in our section at the moment. Um, personally, I think tonight 
it will come early hours tonight, early hours in the morning. Okay, we're, we're day one, we're early days. It is best to fire fish, but for, for five fish about 90 pound, um, we got every chance. So, um, strategy at the moment, I'm actually fishing for, for big fish. I've got one solid bag out there, which I'm trying to nick a few of the small ones, which, which the bream have been coming off. Um, I'll go through tomorrow uh, with the bait and application and, and rigs that I'm using. Hopefully tonight we'll see us through. Um, I doubt I get any footage of it. I will try and get if there's anything that'll come through, some shots. Um, and uh, yeah, first night. So we've still got a long way to go. Um, you know, saying we still had the second biggest fish. Everything else is averaging eight, nine pound across the rest of the lake. So I'm not overly done. There's a lot of fish coming out, but they are smaller ones. That'll obviously creep up by the morning. I think the guys just over to the right uh, and swim 10 my have just got one there looks like they're weighing it up um, same section as us uh, they're on five fish uh, in fact we're on six but again so <laughs> unfortunately only one cup um, but they're only on about 60 pound so you know we've got everything to play for it's a long night um, probably strategy for the morning I'm going to see but I might go surface fishing um, long range, I'm putting some out, getting through, the wind's coming down this way um, and we shall, we shall see, but at the moment I'm playing two rods out for the, for the bigger ones. This is my rod and there he is. That's my bivvy, that's his den. <laughs> Oh, look at that. But the only ten pound fish I'm ever gonna take a picture of to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, boys. <laughs> Level seven. Yeah, level seven. Level seven. That's me for others. Lovely. Yeah. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you, that puts us up to what, 40? So, morning time. Not much sleep I had last night. Um, I think it was five bream. Uh, we've had three carp now, so far. Um, nothing major. I think we're sitting at six in the leaderboard. Um, out of 16. Um, yeah, tired, to be fair. Um, it's at the moment five to six, just had the guys come around and photograph the fish uh, we had during the morning uh, or early hours and um, still got, uh, what have we got, about 30 hours to go. So yeah, we'll play for, I'll try and give you a bit more update when I'm a little bit more awake uh, in a little while, just thought I'd uh, touch base and um, let you know where things were. Just seen them all come up round here, so we're going to try round here. Like that little bush sticking out, I think. The Charlotte has got on there some of the Parker Bates um, um, pellet with a double sweet corn. 
and we're just going to get close in because the wind's really pushing in now into this corner so mid afternoon sun is absolutely oh, it's too hot out here but Look. guess what Charlotte's got how pretty is he absolutely gorgeous well done thank is you is a big smile I, oh, I, I made up I made up all right, that's us back in the mix. All happy? Yeah. Lovely. Thank you ever so much, guys. So, Charlotte's first fish. Let's see if we can get this out. Well done, Charlotte. Angry little boy. Well done. We're still in the mix. Look at that. Him. Right. Fish number five, I believe we haven't weighed it yet, but uh, I think it could be the biggest of the match so far. Uh, so uh, it's a good 20, a very good 20, a little belly on it. Anyway, Parker Bates, OG Fish, 18 mil, uh, laced with found to 10 mils, which but don't tell anyone. And uh, I'm gonna put this back and we're calling them over to get weighed. Yes. I've been resting the swim for the last three hours, put it back, within 10 minutes it went. And actually under that I didn't get the second rod out. Right, that changes everything. Just had another fish on the bank waiting for the marshals to come now uh, and and weigh it up i think we're currently in sixth place if it weighs what well, we think it will weigh that should put us into fifth place we are 32 pound off of fourth place 36 pound off of third place 42 i think off of second place and 44 pound off of first place i think it's uh, it's mid-afternoon don't even know what time it is but um yeah we've probably got about uh, 12 12 plus hours to go the fish look like they've turned back up in front of us we'll uh, we will see obviously when the marshals get here i think if it, if it moves if it's 20 that moves us into fifth uh, above jack lamb um obviously i mean he's been nailing it up there but it is the five biggest fish Shame we can't catch, uh, count the bream, otherwise we'd probably be winning by now. Uh, Charlotte's obviously had uh, her fish, first first fishing competition. How do you feel about that? Oh, absolutely thrilled. I just wanted to catch one, so I'm, I'm made up. Yeah, beautiful fish as well. I'm sure yeah. we'll see the, the pictures and that come through. So we'll, um, we'll update once the marshals get here and um, we'll see where the weight comes in at. Oh, that's a better one. That's a better one, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. <gasps> no. Um, oh. This is going to be a tight one. 19. 19. 12. We'll put your head in the middle. Do you want us to? Yeah. Yep, we'll go again then. 19. 10. Yep. Yeah, 19. 10. 19. 10. Oh. I know! <laughs> Ounces! You got yours? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Fish number two for Charlotte Dovey my BCAC partner and it's a big fish it's a big fish 
so we're just waiting for the guys to come round uh, to to weigh it. Literally, just put the rod out. How are you feeling, girl? Can't believe it. I can't wait for it to be weighed. So we're going up that leaderboard. We're going up leaderboard. To put things in perspective. We need another 19 pounds to move into fourth place. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, we're we're literally within reach. Uh, I think we've well after this we're about 30 30 pounds away from first place. We're away, oh, sorry, just lost a bit of contact. I'm shaking for. A... So um, yeah, it's happening. Well done. Yeah. Oh wow. Not a spot was coming. Nineteen twelve. Bigger bigger than mine. As long as it's over nine no, it's all got you on now. As long as it's over ten. Yeah, she's gone. Oh. 19 2. Yep, 19 2. Two 19s and six quick succession ain't too bad, is it? Yeah, it's not bad at all. No, no, not with the rest of the lake, it's very quiet. Yeah, nice and straight. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's, that's nice, that's nice and straight. straight. That's it. Okay, Lil. Good. Look at the fish, guys. Smile. Nice. Back to us. Big smile. Yes. So, this one. That'd be my partner in crime. Second fish, coming at 19 pounds. We've moved into fifth place. This now gets us a little step closer to fourth. So well done, Charlotte. Anyone want to follow uh, Girls Can Fish too? I think this proves that. Well done. Oh, thank you. I'm here with Garrett Gardner and Charlotte Dovey and you have caught six six fish so far but the last two have been 19 pounders and this puts you into fifth place but chasing fourth so how you feel? Yeah really good I mean it was a, it was a slow start um, obviously my partner here has just landed the 19 pound which has took us another 10 pound up um, it, it's been a great event we've probably got what 16 hours to go I think, you know, I said at the start, this would be one on ounces. You know, this isn't a runaway of what we're doing. Um, I think there's a lot of fish in here. You know, it's a great event. You know, in fact, I've been able to come and fish with a woman. Um, you know, obviously it's very male dominated. But, you know, Charlotte, who also is uh, with uh, Girls Can Fish too, you know, has certainly proven that today. So, uh, no, I'm feeling great. You know, we've got 16 hours to go. We're only 19 pounds by the fourth. Uh, you know, and where we can go from there. We've, we've got we've got a few hours left. And best to look for the rest of the competition. Thank you ever so much. So we've had a little bit of a turnaround in our match, and um, Charlotte's family turned up today. Do you want to show them, Charlotte? What? Uh... They think they're very funny, <laughs> but they're always here to support my eight-year-old nephew and the rest of my family. Come over to visit, see what we were doing, wish us luck, give us a bit of morale. Well done. <laughs> And it certainly has brought us luck. So, inside the last night, all to play for. We just had an interview. Um, obviously, nobody else around the lake's now catching. And uh, we've just had two 19s on the bounce. So, the penultimate evening, um, I think it's somewhere about seven o'clock. We're still sitting comfortably at the moment. I don't say that, but fingers crossed, yeah, in fifth place. People say to me, why do you do competition fishing? Got to be honest with you, this is proper exciting. Charlotte, what do you reckon? Hello, oh, really fitting, honestly. I'm buzzing, I'm sitting here shaking. So we've got one night to go, and uh, we've certainly got action in front of us. We have an absolutely stunning evening. It's looking good. The fish are certainly getting liners. We've had a couple of little takes. We both took a different strategy. Um, I, for one, uh, bait-wise, uh, have gone with something very, very different. 
Um, basically, I've just gone pure uh, boily. OG fish, 18 mil. There's a lot of bream in here, so I got absolutely hammered by them yesterday. Switched everything, pure. I've even got the hardened hooker, uh, 18 mil. I'm using 18 mil uh, straight out the pack freezer um, fish. But one of the things that I think has made a bit of difference, a lot of you may have seen that I've spoken about paste in the past. Well, Ken, Ken, <laughs> Ben kindly uh, let me buy a kilo of fresh paste. What I've been doing with this, things had to change. You know, we were sitting there behind, um, but couldn't see a way we was going to make any, any difference. So I've been breaking up the paste into little balls, um, putting into flake, putting them in my solid bags, throwing them out, getting them in the spoms, um, and it's making a difference. Charlotte um, has also taken her own uh, course, where she's gone pure particle, uh, no boily. Uh, we're fishing pretty close together uh, with a, a double sweet corn, everything being laced in, in the flat spot. Um, we've actually come in, so I've been fishing oh, right out. I mean, so we've got the whole of this, we've got about four acres. Been going out, I've been sort of 20 wraps out, getting hammered by the bream last night. I've actually brought, brought them in. And when I say I brought them in, I brought them in to about three rod lengths off. We think there's a gully. And behind us here, we've got the um, out, of, out of zone, so you can't fish in it. And we think the fish are channeling through. Been getting so many liners. So we've both pulled them in. Um, and we will see if that actually pays off tonight. Just being treated for another evening by the lovely Charlotte. <laughs> ben, if you think my food's good, it is nothing compared to this. So, Charlotte, for our final evening, thank you very much. You're food's welcome. been amazing, fishing's been amazing. Fingers crossed. Another sleepless night. Had one in the night, uh, I think weighed about, I think weighed in 11 pound two. Probably the strongest fighting, um, strongest fighting fish for pound for pound, I think, I've, that I've ever had. Beautiful fish. Probably thought it was more 31 than, than 11, but it's, uh, yeah, anyway, every half hour the rods were going. Lost two, landed one. Um, kept getting done on one of my rods, can't work out why, unless the fish were coming through uh, and, and just doing liners, but yeah, so no sleep, 48 hours, understatement. Just up to my left, uh, the fish are properly starting to spawn and I've heard up the, uh, the north uh, bay, um, they're, they're really kicking off and the spawning started, so I think we're we're pretty lucky um, with that one that it started a bit later on. It looks like it's going to be another nice day today. So um, I think we got six hours to go, so it's about six in the morning now. Um, so yeah, finishes at midday. We are 18 pounds behind fourth place. It's going to be a tough half, to be fair. Um, I know Neil Rivers at the, the far end, he's, he's smashed it, he's, he's in the lead at the moment. Um, it's yeah, it's good. Basically, obviously, it's cumulative of five fish. So to, to get 20 pounds, really, you've got to take off your smallest fish, and then that weight goes against it. But it's great fun. It's a, it's an nail biter. Um, if we weren't so tired, we'd, we'd probably be excited. But we do our best. We're here. Six hours to go. Never know what happens. So it's last knock-ins of the day, we've got two hours left. I managed to get one in the net. Thirteen ten. Oh, yep, yeah, yeah thirteen ten. Cool. Nice. Yeah. That's two pounds on for us. At two. Yeah. So we need another fifteen for third. Lovely. Six 
16 pounds. What was it? No, 1310. Oh, 1310. Stunning looking fish here. With a BCAC mixed pairs. Uh, at Will at uh, Willows, Auburn's Lake. Thank you, Parker Bates. Thank you to the BCAC. And thank you, Charlotte Dovey. It's been a pleasure. Still got about two hours to go. I think we've got 16 pounds. Hit 15 pounds. Hour to go, just had another one, uh, 13 pound, but on the average of what's been coming out. So, which puts us now 13 pound behind fourth place. Um, one more fish, one more fish. My, I've had eight carp now. Um, Charlotte's had two, there's obviously only five count uh, and uh, and the onslaught of bream which I got on the first night which meant I had to totally change my tactics and where I was. Anyway, we have the rod still out. The fish are massively spawning at the moment. I'm getting all night last night. I was, well, it, it was like a run. Uh, the fish are just going straight into the line. They're not bothered about it. And again, you know, big run and seeing the line go and then it's off. So that's not helping things, but just caught one, uh, say in the last hour now, and um, they're still feeding. It only takes one. If I need to if I get a 20 pounder, obviously it's the cumulative weight of five. Um, but if we get a 20 now, that's that's us in the mix. We've actually got us into third place. So oh, I hope one hour to go. Half an hour to go, the rods are out, but there's two. We got another one in the net, fish number nine, or carp number nine. Uh, half an hour, I'm gonna get another rod out, I've got half an hour to go. This is gonna pull us up a couple more pound uh, closer up the leaderboard. Um, really need a 20. Oh, I think that's a, I think it's a high team. Wait and see. Tense time at the moment. Just waiting for the marshals to come over. Uh, we know the, the the guys that are in fourth place uh, have caught again. Marshals have been over there. So it all depends on what we've got in the net here to uh, see how much closer or uh, whether we can move anywhere up the leaderboard. I doubt it now, I think time's on it. I think we're in the last 15 minutes. So I've got all three rods back out. We've got one in the net, but uh, I think the guys in fourth have just had another one. So it's gonna be very close. The marshal's on their way, um, fingers crossed. One thing I didn't mention is I had to go running in. Waders, everything's packed away. Go running in uh, with the socks, shoes. So we're gonna let this one go. Look at that stunning little fish. Angry little male. Can see his back. So we're gonna let this one go. It's our last fish of the, of the session. Thank you very much. Coming back. Well, there it is, and Garrod, mate, fair play, absolute top class angling, and definitely set the Parker Bates wave or flag, should I say, very, very high. Now, the end result obviously, they come fifth, um, which I think is absolutely brilliant, you know, considering the circumstances and everything going on. But, like I said, mate, fair play. And also Charlotte as well, fair play, absolutely brilliant, getting involved, smashing it up. And um, I think, well, I thought, what a great watch. So there it is, I hope you like this video, guys. I really, really do, something different. And just before I end this video, myself and Garrod 
the weekend just gone, they've just come off the BCAC and um, it was hairy to say the least. And when I say hairy at one point, all the way till four or nine o'clock, three hours before the match finishing, we were winning this, or our section, sorry, by one ounce. Yes, one ounce. You heard me right. So I'm just going to leave it at that and this video will be coming soon. We've got a full video on it, the whole 48 hours. We had Steve there doing the video in for us, so it's something really special. It really, really is. And I managed to nick, nick obviously nick a couple due to the weight. Um, and there's a mid 30 in the mix. So I'm going to leave it at that, guys. I hope you like this video. Thanks very much for watching. Peace out, and I'll see you all very soon.